Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Healing Through Writing. Today we are doing prompts 252 through 254. Yay! We're well on our way to achieving our goal of 366 prompts in the year 2024. If you reach this video way after that time, congratulations. You are on your healing journey and you realize that writing is a wonderful tool. Okay, prompt number 252. I will read the prompt twice and then I'll share with you my response. Prompt 252. Do you meditate or believe in meditation? If you do, does it help you? Do you meditate or believe in meditation? If you do, does it help you? Meditation is an amazing tool for healing. My journey through meditation began at the beginning of my spiritual awakening almost 10 years ago. I needed a way to calm my mind. I tried an app called Headspace that offered free sessions to learn how to meditate. I exhausted all of my freebies and moved on to 10-minute sessions with Guided Meditation Channel on YouTube. I then took a course with Deborah King through Solvana that introduced transcendental meditation with mantras and sutras. I'm still interested to learn more. Prompt number 253. Do you believe in multitasking or in focusing on one thing at a time? How does this help you or hurt you? Prompt number 253. Do you believe in multitasking or in focusing on one thing at a time? How does this help you or hurt you? Multitasking for efficiency is sometimes required to meet deadlines and to achieve goals. Sometimes there are certain tasks that require focus in order to avoid unnecessary mistakes, like, for instance, doing your taxes. There is also things that um, writing and creativity like writing and creativity that benefit from elimination of all distractions so that you are a clear channel to receive authentic and unedited flow of ideas and messages. Prompt number 254. What is the biggest argument you've ever had? Who was it with? Prompt number 254. What is the biggest argument you have ever had? Who was it with? The most memorable arguments for me, in retrospect, came from moments when I was triggered. And by triggered, I mean a wound that was hidden so deep in my soul, rose to the top of my consciousness, and the pain was so pronounced that I exploded in an unexpected outburst. A 40-year-old wound popped up when a co-worker called me a hypocrite. This was a tower moment that prompted healing from this deep wound in my solar plexus. So there you have it. Healing through writing. It's a thing. And I thank you for joining me on this series through putting in the hard work because it is hard work. It is a commitment. It is a sometimes um, the benefits are shown right away through us answering these prompts. And sometimes the benefits come at a later time. And either way, we're putting in the investment for self-improvement, self-love, self-healing, everything for the self. Because after all, who else cares more about us than us? 
Wow. See you in the next session.